Hello people, it's Andrea. Uh, welcome to my channel, which is majority, majority a channel for colouring. And I've moved my thing without realising. I do apologise, let me just uh, straighten out. Today we're going to be doing a colouring chat. So we're going to use the Colouring Heaven Alice in Wonderland special by Eva Nikunin. I haven't coloured in this book, so I want to do a picture in it. I don't know why my camera, oh I do actually. <laughs> it's because there's something in the way, that's better. Um, but what I want to say is this is a colouring channel for adults. Um, we discuss our adult topics as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I hope you'll stay and subscribe. It really means a lot. And if you've been here a while, well, thank you for coming back. It's really appreciated. So I am going to do this first picture, which is called Dialing Up Wonderland. Um, so we're just going to start, as I always do, with the skin. I always do. I'm going to be using markers. I might use a bit of pencil. I'm thinking of um, doing the, the background in pastel pencils. I haven't decided yet, but let's start. So how is everybody? I hope you're all well. We are good here. It's been a while. I keep saying, I'm going to do more of these and, and just life gets in the way. Um, obviously. Uh, yeah, but it's all good. Everything's fine. We're all very good. Getting ready for Christmas and and such so what have we been up to well on the weekend i went to see the film niagara at the cinema niagara is a 1952 film noir even though it's in color which is unusual uh starring uh, marilyn monroe it was her first starring color film it wasn't her first color film she had appeared in a couple of color films before that but not as a star um and it is the one that really launched her to stardom. Um, it was it was amazing to see it on the big screen. Um, it was so clear. It was a lovely print. I really, really enjoyed it. I'd love to see more of those sorts of old Hollywood classic films. They do show them occasionally. It is an art centre. It's just a matter of keeping an eye on what's going on. They are showing The Wizard of Oz next month. I'm in two minds because we'd have to take Jennifer, um, but I don't think she'd sit through it, so we might give it a miss. So there's that. I've obviously been working um, because I have to <laughs> to avoid my to afford my extremely expensive hobbies of colouring and reading, and they are because I, I buy a lot of stuff. Now I have said that I was only going to be doing a haul every other month. Um, I actually am going to be doing a haul this month and in December and then we'll start the every other month hauls after that. The, the reason being is I've got a few books this month um, and some of them are Christmas ones that I want to colour in next month so I just want to get them hauled. Now the only reason I was able to buy books this month was because I got a, a gift of some money from work which I'll uh, which was very nice. So what happens is they give us money for previously prior to COVID. It was for a, a Christmas party. They'd give us so much money towards it. And then we'd pay the rest if we were going somewhere fairly expensive. Um, during COVID, they said you can either give it to charity or you can have a voucher. Um, this year it was you can have a party, um, depending on your team. You can have a voucher or you can give it to charity. So I had a voucher for Amazon. And it was for forty pounds, and I think I managed to get seven books with that um, money. So, and that's on top of the normal um, colour in heaven ones, relax with arts that I usually uh, pick up. So, I'm quite happy with that. It's rather lovely, and nice to have. So I did get a few books. Um, we are doing a Secret Santa for work. I haven't ordered my Secret Santa present yet, um, but I will be very soon and will be um, I put on mine mostly colouring stuff, so supplies, books, mostly books, some cheap markers, you know what I mean, oh there's a bit more skin there, hang on just there. there we go so yeah so that'll be fun to do 
so I might get a kind of a there. Um, I'll obviously get my usual Relax With Art kind of in Heavens. And we'll have to see. when uh, what I get but I will do one at the end of uh, December and then in January we will start doing them every other month unless I have a huge month of getting some which might happen if we get a bonus this year I usually try and save some of it and I will but I'm thinking I might just buy a, a big box of markers like the Yohoo Hoos because I like those but we'll see when it comes nearer that time. So yeah, I can't believe it's near the end of November. We are heading rapidly towards another new year. There will be a wrap up and plans video where I'll say exactly what I'm doing in the new year with colouring and the channel will carry on as it is. I will try and do a weekly vlog every now and again. I can't always do it because Sometimes nothing actually happens in my life. I have quiet bits and, and that is quite nice. But when there's something to say, I will say it. Um, there'll be, obviously I, I will be doing, having a colouring journal. So when I talk about my plans next year, I will show you, show you that and how I've laid it out with my end of 2022 stats, which will be things like how many pages I've coloured, how many books I've bought, how many um, books I own in total, how many PDF books I own, um, what else, how many books I haven't coloured in, and so on. And then next year I'm hoping to attempt the 10 books to finish in 2023. So I will get those books out and show you them. They will be staying permanently out. So far I've only put four on the list, but there are, I know a couple of the others that are going on there. There might even be five. I think it's up to five now, so I just need to find another five. And I'll admit most of them are going to be coloured by numbers because I just like to sit in front of the TV in the evening and do them because Jennifer climbs all over me and sometimes when she's climbing over me she jogs the pen. So while it doesn't really matter in a colour by number one, if I was doing something like this, I'd be a bit annoyed if I ended up with blue on her face, but with a colour by number, I, I don't worry so much. They're just for relaxation. I still haven't started my Coloropoly pictures for this month, um, mainly because she's having a break and not doing it again now until February, which I do understand and I don't blame her. So I'm going to take the time and do them over this month and next month I've got a chibi and I will be doing one in one of my colouring chibi books, uh, Christmas chibi books. Um, I've got um, Galaxy um, or Space which is great and I can't remember the third one, the fourth one was draw, uh, draw something. I'm not drawing something. I've got the list, it's here somewhere and if not I can always go and check out, go and get the video and have another look at the video and uh, get the uh, the th the other one so I can't remember what it was so I will be doing them over the next couple of months next month this month and next month I think because she's not and then January there won't be any coloropoly and then I'll be back to it on in in February which is nice I don't blame her from taking a break it, it's hard work um, and she's not been well um so lots of love to you sarah hope you're well you're feeling better and darren is looking after you i hope you have a lovely holiday and a lovely break me i just keep making videos as and when i can um like i say i've got so much going on i've got to get back to, i've got to do my tax return yet i'll be doing that this week and it's wednesday and i haven't done it yet probably tomorrow i've got to do list stuff on ebay i've got photograph stuff for ebay this is going to be tomorrow's job, I think. I've got to do my stock take. There's so much I've got to do. And I was going to do it this week and I just haven't done it. I've just been chilling out and doing other things, you know. But, that, but that's okay. Um, 
hard to see what's what on here. I think that's a bit of skin there. So I'll leave that and go back to that now. Where's down here on it? There it was. That's it there. There we go. I'm trying to colour in as many as of my untouched books as I can just simply because I've got so many of them and I'm terrified of how many I'm going to actually have when I count them up at the end of the month next month um, hence why I'm, I'm colouring one of these um, I've got loads of others as well and I'll probably pull one of them to colour in in a bit I've just got a couple of pictures on the go that I'm trying to finish something it's hard to tell because there's this thing here and I don't know what it is but it's part of her clothing I would imagine and, uh, but yeah so I've got so many books including a ton of colour in heavens that I haven't actually coloured in and it is pointless having them if I'm not going to colour in them. And I like to colour. There we go. It is nice. So yeah, I've got to sort out Jennifer's Christmas present as well. Joy. She wants a bike. I suppose all kids do. I don't like bikes myself. <laughs> I'm a bit odd. So, so yeah, it's been all go really. Jennifer's got her school concert next month. Got to get her a costume for that. Ugh day off to see it but hey, it's only like 30 minutes so Paul's taking the morning off I've got the whole day because I only work mornings anyway so what I shall probably do is um, do some filming or something that day I don't know how do my accounts as well and I've got a nip to Newport at some point because I've got a book to pick up from Waterstones Let's move it over a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Do apologise. Zed's fine. She's asleep on the bed next door in the uh, bedroom. I've been in there this morning watching um, YouTube videos, colouring videos, wall supplies, stuff, colouring charts. And yeah, so she's just sitting in there. She'll probably still be in there when I get back. So it's fine. Uh, yeah, one of the reasons I haven't coloured in this one is I'm not a big Alice in Wonderland fan. I know people love Alice in Wonderland. I've never been a big fan. I much prefer The Wizard of Oz. Don't ask me why. Maybe it's because of the Judy Garland 39 film, which I love. But I just do. I am an Oz fan. I'll admit it. <laughs> yeah. We, we all have our own things we prefer, and, and that's fine. I don't have anything against anybody who likes Alice in Wonderland. It's a good story, but I just find that... No, it's not It's not my favourite. But, I, like I said, I, I, I like the pictures in this book. Don't get me wrong, they're actually really good. So I am trying to... And, I, like I said, I want to try and colour in all my books. I mean, I buy books because I want to colour in them, not because I'm buying them for the sake... Well, of collecting them, though I do like to, but I also buy them because I want to colour in them. For whatever reason, I don't go around to it. And it annoys me that I am like that, but I am like that. And I like patterns, and they are quicker than pictures sometimes, always. 
but you don't just want to see piles of patterns and colours by numbers. Um, I have still got a few whips to do. It is under 10. I watched a video of this girl who has like 72 whips and I was like, how do you do it? I couldn't cope with that many whips. It would drive me up the wall. It would literally drive me up the wall. I mean, it might be that I do too much anyway, so having that many whips would get on my nerves because I do so many other things. So obviously I do this, I do my photography when I can. Um, not so much lately, but I will be getting back to that hopefully next year. It's one of my resolutions. Um, but obviously I've got my Marilyn stuff, my Marilyn TikTok account. I do my reading. Um, so there's a lot that I do that if I had a ton of whips as well, I would be very, very annoyed with myself because it's hard enough as it is. Um, some of the whips I've got are quite complicated and they're taking a while. I've got a Kirby Rosans, which I should just knuckle down and finish, but I actually am wondering why I started it because it's not the easiest picture in the book. I've got one in Colour in Heaven, Busy World, which is Colin Thompson's book. And I'm thinking, oh, there's a lot in that. I've got another Colour in Heaven on the go, which is the burlesque issue, which I've got one started in, haven't finished, that I want to. It's just, ugh. I've got three Alan Robert on the go. And it can, and it does get overwhelming. So I really do need to just crack on with them. And I've said what I'll do is I'll do a bit of like a couple of books on Colin Thompson's every day because it's one of the bookshelves. I'll do that a bit of it every day, like just a couple of books, get a pencil, do colour a couple of the books and then it's done. But I uh, haven't done that this week. I'll have a break. We'll do it again next week, I think. And the same with the Curry Rosans. Just do a little bit every time. Every now and again, do a tiny little bit and just pop through it and, and get what you can done. But I couldn't have that many, many whips. And um, yeah, so just going to uh, try and finish them and finish all the pictures I've got on the go rather than I've got one downstairs now and one in the other room that's nearly finished anyway so we had a bit of thunder earlier it's raining again now I can hear it I wish we'd have snow for Jennifer more than anything else it doesn't matter if we get snowed in because we can all work from home now so we're never going to get a snow day again but I do like watching it and looking at out, out out the window at the snow yeah it's part of her clothes I'm just going to colour it in blue like her dress um so yeah I do like the snow I would love us to have a significant snow in the sense that Enough for it to settle, for Jennifer to go out, make a snowman in the garden, play in there. We can throw snowballs at each other and just have a bit of fun as a family. I mean, obviously, there is a bit of a problem. Like, things are very, very expensive. The cost of living is going up everywhere. As you guys know, wherever you are in the world, everything's getting more and more expensive. There's another reason why we've got to cut back on things like buying supplies and books. Um, I will when I can, but you know, we've got to eat, we've got to pay the mortgage, we've got to put food on the table, um, pay the bills, we've got to have the you know, electricity bills, got to be paid, and the gas bill, and so on. But yeah, and it's not going to get any better anytime soon, even though we've both had pay rises. I mean, at the moment, I can't go back to working full time because of, of Jennifer being so young. When she's a bit older, maybe, but I don't think I want to. Um, 
I like spending the time with her and helping her with her schoolwork. Not that they do much now, they do a bit of reading. She can read certain words, which is wonderful. I can't imagine what it's like not to be able to read. Because to me, reading is... Because I've been doing it for so long, I don't remember a time when I couldn't read. Some of my favourite mem memories are when we lived up in Argoid, which is a, a small, very small village up the valley slightly. And the nearest library was only a couple of miles away in Blackwood, but my mum didn't drive and my dad was working. But because it was such a small village with no... There was a small shop. There was There was a pub and so on. But there wasn't, it's, and it was not like today where we've got the internet, I just think, oh, I'll just order some books from Amazon, or I'll just order them from Book Depository, or Waterstones. No, 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 no. There was no internet, so you'd have to go into town to buy them. And it's town to buy a book would really more than likely be Newport or Cardiff to buy books we just we did we had them at Christmas and things but it was much harder back then but more I think in some ways more fun but my favorite member was we had a mobile library so it was a book van so it was a van that was a library on wheels and I can still smell it if I close my eyes I can see it I can smell it it was wonderful I've got wonderful memories of getting books from that um, that mobile library and I want Jennifer to have nice memories of reading and books like one of my favorite places in secondary school was the library whether it's how I remember it I don't I don't know I can remember the book mobile library because it's a mobile library it's not as usual as a oops excuse me I'm knocking that again um, a physical fixed location library um, that's supposed to be a funny colour. What's that one? No. I'm just looking for some colours for her hair. And most of my yellows are downstairs. That one's it's called pear green but it's not very green fortunately I do have another set here a vintage yellow oh this is a nice looking cover what does this look like let me get a piece of paper oh here's my colour oh it's a poinsettia or a flower yeah no it's not the right colour it's this one Marmalade orange. I'm going to do a rare that colour because I like it. <laughs> I like the colour. <laughs> I'm so silly. I know. So. So it's orange, but it's not orange. It's more of a yellow. What do you think? Ah, that's nice. I didn't want to go for the typical blonde. Alice. Alice has grown up, so her hair may not be blonde anymore. Might be though. Oh, I like that. It's a nice colour. Uh, yes. let's, have a, let's have an orange haired Alice. Right, my battery's on, so I'm going to go and change it. It won't be a second. Oh, yes, that's that done. I've found, now found all of my batteries, which is amazing. Um, couldn't find one. I found one in the other room and the other three are in here. One in the camera and two over there. One on charge. <sighs> Quite happy doing this. It's, it's nice actually just sitting here and chatting away to you and seeing what's going on in the world. I mean, what is going on in the world? I don't know anymore. It's gone going mad. The, the war in the Ukraine is still ongoing um, I don't 
don't know, there's been another shooting in America, a Walmart this time, which is awful. My heart goes out to the people who have lost somebody today. I'm thinking of you, if, if, and if you're in that area, it's in Virginia somewhere, if, if you're from that area, um, my thoughts are with you. Um, I'm not going to get into a gun control ar argument, it's pointless, but it, it does annoy me when people, like, I think the female governor or somebody, said we need to figure out what to do about this problem when it's obvious, but there's no point going into it because you won't listen. Um, it's just one of the things that us, we have to accept, that America is going to always be that way, at least for the time being. Maybe the next generation coming up will change it. I don't know. We'll, yeah. But it's still very sad. So I'm not going to get into an argument about what another country should do. So we've got enough of our own problems to sort out over here. We can't we can't say anything because we've got enough going on over here that's bad. So, <laughs> you know, nowhere's perfect. Let's put it that way. Nowhere is perfect. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah, I'm getting a bit dopey. I'm going to go and have some lunch in a minute. I, I get really tired around lunchtime, even though I haven't done anything today. When I'm at work, around this time, especially in the office because it's so warm, I start getting really, and my eyes go, oh. Because I don't get a lie in except for on the weekend because obviously I still have to get Jennifer up for school and Paul up for work because he's in work because I get more holiday than him and even when he almost equals my holiday he's still a day behind I think I can buy another week and have another week I can have over seven weeks off um, but so I always find that I'm having days here and there on my own and I'm literally I've had this week off just to use up annual leave because I don't want to carry it over um, and to be fair it's nice I've done a bit of tidying up I've done a bit of colouring I've done some watching stuff I've sorted out some books to take to the charity shop because the charity shop I'm taking to does want them so that's good I'm trying to take them today before I pick up Jen. I'm going to go out a little bit earlier. I always take a book with me to read. So if I'm, I'm there really early, I can just sit in the car and wait in the car park. Just sit and wait for it to be time to go to the gates. I'm just going to put it this way. So. But yeah, it's all good. And this particular charity shop I've been staying away from because they sell books 20 for £1. I'm like, no. I don't know if they're any good mind. A lot of them, well, I did have a quick look. A lot of them are all penguins. They're all paperback penguins, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I mean, but I really don't need to be buying any more books. She says, looking at the hundred of books that are sitting up on her bookcases to be read. Some will be kept. Some will be donated to the charity shop. Some will be given to mum and then be going to the charity shop. But if I do bring back another 20, I need to make sure, or more, that there's some in there for Mum. Because she's broken her Kindle. Her Kindle's broke. So she'll be hopefully getting one for Christmas. I've got to cut the price for it. For her. There we go. Well, I like that colour for her hair. It looks nice. Just go a bit over here, I've missed some. I shall finish her hair and then we'll call it quits and we will do a bit more in the next video because I'm hungry and I want my lunch. <laughs> oh, I've enjoyed this, it's been nice. It's nice talking to you. I hope you I really hope you're enjoying this and you know you'll come back soon. Do you want me to do pictures in markers? Do you want me to do a pencil picture? I've got I've got two Maria Trolleys and two Hannah Carlson's I haven't done. Would you like me to do something in there? Do you want me to do just Christmas pictures? Or what, what, what do you want to see? Let me know what you want to see on the channel down below because I, I really do listen to you. And if you've watched the whole video, put a, put a star, 
put a star in the comments if you manage to watch the whole thing. I know some people do and I know some people don't. I, I, I do sometimes watch full colouring chat and sometimes I get distracted and I have to go and do something else and I forget about it and I don't go back and watch the rest of it and I'm like, oh, I forgot to do that. So. Still watching a lot of YouTube. Um, what have I been watching? Uh, I can't think now. Oh, Finders Beepers History Seekers. One of my favourite channels. Guys on there, so funny. I'll be watching that in a minute while I'm having my lunch, I think, because I'm halfway through an episode. Um, obviously the colouring ones. I love the colouring channels. I love watching, particularly like hauls, and I love completed pages. And then I sit there and I watch them, and I'm like, God, I wish I could come like that, but I ain't got the patience. <laughs> I haven't got the patience. And I haven't got the inclination to colour things twice. Um, sometimes if I really, really like a pe pe picture, I'll take a long time over it. Um, I just finished a whip in Nick Filbert Serene. that has been hanging around for a while and the majority of it's been done. It's just I've been putting off doing the background, which took me like five minutes. And it looks fine, but I was worried I was going to ruin it and it's fine. You'll see that at the end of the month because I do like that book and it wasn't a cheap book at all. So, but again, I'm, I've only done two pages in it. It's ridiculous. I have got to do more pages in these books. But I got so many books. But I can't start buying them because, oh, I missed a year. Because I'm addicted to colouring and colouring books and things. So what we'll do is in the next video we will do the phone and um, we'll do the rest of Alice and uh, with the phone bit and all that. Um, I am using Arteza Ever Blends as you can tell and the skin tone is a Copic Chow Barely Beige. Which you haven't seen hauled but you will at the end of the month because I'll explain my boy. <laughs> it's a very simple reason. I've enjoyed this so far. It's nice just sitting here colouring a picture. Try and do another one by the end of the weekend. There we go. And I can't believe that next week, the end of the month, I get paid next week. I've got Christmas presents to buy. Ugh. I can't buy anything for myself next month. It's got to go on Christmas presents. Once I've got all the Christmas presents, then I can see if there's any money left. I think, right, now I can have that. Or now I can get that book. Or that colouring book. And you know it's going to be colouring books, don't you, right? <laughs> it's always going to be colouring books. It's always going to be colouring books. I love them so much. I've actually run out of space to put them now. My untouched bookshelf is completely full and there are books that aren't on it because I can't do it. I have got a little bit of space on my main bookcase, but not much. It will grow if I can get rid of the books on my bookcase, the ones that sit on the top, because I've got stuff that was there on the top there, but there's still a bit left. And that's my diaries. There we go, finished her hair. So we'll zoom out and have a look at how much we've done. So that's what we've done so far. So in the next one, we will finish off Alice. We'll do this band around her waist. and her, her, It's only her lips, her eyes and the little heart on her face. We'll do the phone and then the background I'm probably going to do in the Oh Who Who pastels, um, blues and pinks or greens and pinks or something. I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know down in the comments below. And everybody have a lovely day. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye now.